pages. So listen, sometimes it is a hard pill for us to swallow when <clears throat> the relationship that we were in did not go the way that we had planned or <clears throat> perhaps you didn't even have any plans for it, but it just ended in a way that you know was unsatisfactory to you. And then you have to watch the person go on with their life swiftly, as men usually do. And then somehow um, we may be expected to not show any reactions to that or to not feel any way about that, to have to put on your big girl panties and suck it up and, you know, poke your chest out and act like, you know, everything is good. And, and most days you probably can't do that without any issues, right? Because we're wired to just keep it moving, a lot of us, right? <clears throat> now, some people do break down and want to hurt and harm themselves and do all that type of stuff. You know, hey, those are uh, issues beyond my scope of uh, YouTube. But um, I acknowledge that because... Um, even though I say it lightly, I don't take it lightly because I understand that every woman is not wired the same way. And there are women who are very genteel, who, um, you know, they've been through some things and they just cannot afford to take any other hard hit, right? <clears throat> so I acknowledge that. So when things happen to them, sometimes they just cannot um, function in the way that we would expect people to when they have breakdowns and you know they they just don't go on in in the in the time frame that we may expect a person to move on right and sometimes they double back a million times before they actually let go and go on and that's just that's just life so um, I don't make light of women who you know have hard times moving on because you never know when you're gonna have a hard time moving on from something and it doesn't always have to be a relationship it could be a death because essentially when your relationship is over um you're grieving it right the same way you're gonna grieve a death in your family or a close friend you're gonna grieve it because it's no longer right and whatever hopes and aspirations you had for it it's no longer it's done right and a lot of times it's not going to come back you're, it's never going to be what it was. Sometimes even when you double back, triple back, quadruple back, it never is the same as it was that first time, right? Now, you get people that once they have done the work on themselves and they've matured and, you know, they just want to be with those certain people, they do the work, they do what it takes to go back, and then they catch that person single, and it works, and it's the best thing ever because they did the work, right? <clears throat> so... <clears throat> I said all that to say, like, for the women who may find themselves having a hard time with whatever it is, whatever you're grieving, right? Um, maybe it's a situation with your kids. Maybe it's something going on, you know, that you didn't raise them to be like that. And you didn't raise them to, to make those type of moves, especially towards you. Um, so you are shocked and you are hurting and you don't really even know how to fix this because... They're showing you that this is who they are. And you like, hey, I didn't, who, who is this person that I raised? Because surely I didn't raise you to do this and to act like this and to, you know. So whatever it is that you may be grieving, number one, I want to say it's okay to grieve, right? It's okay to grieve. It's, it's always okay to grieve because <clears throat> you got to let it out. And it's, 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 it's better out the end, Right? Um, there are healthy ways that people grieve and there are non-healthy ways that people grieve, right? You know, if you angry and you destructive and that's that's the non-healthy way to grieve, you know. And I say that firsthand because I did that. Yes, I did all of that. Angry grieving. Um, because the way I'm wired, like my hurt turns into anger. And... Um, it's been times in my life that I was not mature enough to handle the anger in a fashion that didn't uh, resemble throwing a tantrum, right? So I admit I have thrown tantrums, you know, out of anger, out of hurt, 
and I just did what I felt like I needed to do to make me feel better in that moment. <clears throat> so sometimes, you know, that was an unhealthy way of grieving whatever the situation was. But um, I want to say to the ladies who are grieving relationships that, you know, it's okay to grieve, number one. <clears throat> and it's okay to it's okay to take your time doing it. You know, just because you see that person or you may see that other person rushing into another situation, well, they're rushing to fill the void. You know, they don't want to be without anybody because then they got to look at themselves every day and think about all the stuff they did in y'all relationship that they could have done right, that they should have never did. Everything they took you, took you up down the with, right? They have to face that. So generally, they're going to move on swiftly so they can start doing anything to take their mind off of what you and them had going on. So you have to know that. You have to know that men are wired like that. They weren't meant to be by themselves. Women weren't meant to be by ourselves either. But they definitely can't stand that a long time in, in the way that um, we can. So they tend to move on quickly because nine times out of ten, they already had something going on. Um, and if they did, they definitely, they going to get something going on. You can believe that. They ain't finna just be sitting there twiddling their thumbs at, you know. Um, and if you do get the ones that they moved on and they just like stalking you, hey, that's a problem too, you know. Especially when you don't want them to be stalking you. But, um, women, you have to remember like when the situation didn't work out, number one, everybody ain't meant to be around forever. Most people ain't going to be in your life forever, right? And um, so it's okay that it's time for them to move on. It's it's good that it's time for you to move on, right? If the situation is not progressing in the direction that you want a situation to progress in, then it's good when it's over. It, don't, it may not feel good because you have so many attachments, but essentially it's good because now it's time for you to go to your next level in life and hopefully they'll go to their next level in life too, whatever that may be. And with whomever that may be, if they did not, you know, meet your standards and they couldn't, you know, facilitate the relationship that you needed or that you wanted, then it's good when it's over. Because now you have a whole opportunity to create whatever else you want with whomever else you want. So, Grieve it, but don't grieve it for too long, right? Don't let um your mind play tricks on you about, you know, whatever you seeing, you know, them do as a couple or whatever you hearing about them. Especially, people gain now, especially if they moved on real fast. Girl, brush that off your shoulders now. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. You know why? Because... That person ain't did the work to fix themselves, right? And unless you just a petty person and you know you was harping on things that really don't mean nothing, then they still need to fix those things. And the same things that you experienced, guess what? The next person gonna experience those things too, right? They are going to. Yeah, men treat women different, but when that's his personality, and that's who he is, and that's how he built. And those are the things you had a problem with. Guess what? He gonna show up as that same person with her. Now she may have the grace to deal with, right? Or she may do what you did. She may just accept it for some years. She may accept it for her whole life, just because that's the way her esteem built. But don't you for a minute start feeling any kind of way because your esteem wouldn't allow you to keep doing it, right? You had to make some hard decisions, right? Even if you start double thinking your decisions after you made it, what they say, follow your first mind. Your first mind was right. That's what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to let it go. Even if it start bothering you afterwards, or even if you double back or want to double back, you made the right decision initially. If it wasn't moving in the direction you needed it to, it was time for it to be over. You grieve it. You move on. And you don't let whatever else they have going on, you don't let that rough or not nail one of your feathers. You hear me? Mm-mm. Because you been there. You done that. So, 
what they doing that 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 should bother you. Nothing. You already know how everything hit for. Right? You know how everything hit for. So why should it phase you? Right? But yeah. Go ahead and grieve that situation in a positive manner and move on. And for those of us who are grieving, you know, family members and um other type of relationships that are just not going in the direction that we want it to, you know. Yeah, people that they they on the verge of divorcing, you know. Um, and it may be their second marriage, you know, that they really wanted to work out, and it just isn't going that way, you know. <clears throat> At this age and stage in my life, I would say cut your losses as soon as you could cut them. You know, I'm all for trying giving it your best shot but when your relation your, but when your issues with those people have to do with who they are and that's just how they are unless you're willing to, to, to accept it then you're gonna be miserable and you're gonna be angry and you're gonna be upset and, and you're gonna take your own self through some things right because you just gonna be hoping that they're going to change and it's not that they can't change. It's just that they will have to want to change. Right? If they have something going on, they're like, yeah, I know I need to change that. I'm going to work on that. Okay. It's a possibility that that's going to change. You know, you pray about it. God can do it. But if that person don't see nothing wrong with what they have going on, and they good with where they stand and where they sit, they're lies the problem right there lies the problem you know so it will be somebody else that come along that can accept them for who they are and how they are they have the grace to do that and hey let them go find that person because if you really in, in, in tune with, with yourself you know that that personality trait and what they have going on is just gonna aggravate you it's not going to do anything to help you, promote you. It's just going to piss you off. It's just going to hurt you because you're going to keep talking about the same thing all the time. The more you talk about it, the more it's not going to change because they're going to sit in that thing and they feel like, hey, this is who I am. You knew this and, and, and this is what you signed up for. Okay, when that's their mindset, what you supposed to do? And I definitely don't promote divorce. I've seen so much divorce that I don't promote divorce, right? But I do promote making the best decisions that you can while you're here, because there ain't no telling how long you're gonna be here. So sometimes those things can contradict each other. But at the end of the day, you gotta do what's best for you, what's best for your mental health, what's best for your emotional health, what's best for your, you know, spiritual health. Um, because what can you do for anybody when you jacked up, when you when your home is messed up every single day, you know, and you trying to perpetrate the fraud, acting like everything is this and everything is that, and really on the inside you hurt you. So, like I said, go ahead and grieve those losses and, and move on as soon as you can.